But today we're checking out a couple different summon teams. We got the shark and we got the vulture as the two primary backbones to summons. The problem I'm having, even though you have fly and you have whale who can eat an osprey and all that, they're very susceptible to snipes, especially the snipes of this weekly with the woodpecker that just wipes out everybody all in one go. Um, yeah, so I don't know if it's strong enough to really be competitive, but you can get a few cool games here and there. So we're going to check it out, try a few different strategies. Hope you enjoy. Let's jump right in. Sorry, Z16. Hate to do it to you. You're last in line. Get a wasp out here. I think wasp with a worm makes some amount of sense. I'd like to get rid of basilisk. Two worms. And Snail with Wasp seems pretty good. Tell you what, go here, hold on to you two. If we lose, Basilisk is gone, and we're full send in this Snail Wasp team. Um, okay, we're not gonna lose. I'm kind of tempted to full send it anyways, though. You know, what if we just do it? Another one. Another one. Another one. Okay. What if we just have one worm, two wasps, two snails? That could be kind of good. Oh, we almost draw. Okay. We gotta find some wasps here. Um, okay. That's not gonna do anything for us. I think we save the chipmunk for garlic. Will you? Hippocampus is a must in this team. I'd love a fairy. If we sell you, would we'll be at four, so we can't buy sell into something. I think we just do this. Call it a day. Hang on to you for later, though. Try to find garlic for the chipmunk. Is that worth it? You put garlic on the chipmunk, that costs three. Then it costs additional four. How do we lose that one? Come on. Actually, I don't even know if that's worth it. <laughs> because you're effectively spending five gold. Hey, I guess you're five gold for two garlics. So technically that would be worth it. Albeit not very exciting. Run it like this. Just trying not to lose yet, because we want to save the snail triggers for like when we actually have another wasp, you know? Okay, that's good. We'll take draws all day. Or maybe we just run a falcon, you know? Maybe that's just the play. If we're not finding wasps, we're not finding wasps, you know? Okay. Now we could throw in a baboon. Is that going to be better than a snail later? Guaranteed scaling on the falcon, making him a 10-9. Oh, that's tough, actually. That is tough. Because we could say that if we lose next turn, everyone gets 1-2. If we don't lose next turn, this would be better. Maybe we just bet on not losing. <laughs> or I just don't lose. Alright. Yeah, dude, we're good. We're good. With the Falcon, 
I had a feeling, especially Falcon Garlic. You know, you'd be hard pressed to lose that one. We go here, we go here. Another Falcon, sure. Another Worm, that's huge. Worm Hippocampus, pretty solid combo there. Oh, that hurts. This is not gonna end well. Maybe we need to put more in our, our wasp here. Okay, level you. I wonder if we don't don't even care about the wasp. No, I think we do. I think we do this. I think we do this. Hold you. Throw in a monkey next turn. What if we ditch you two and then throw in a monkey? Honestly, grapes are pretty good too. High key. Okay. We'll take it. <laughs> we'll take those. Alright, get rid of you. Don't get rid of you yet. You still need to get cooking. What if we don't care about the Yeti here for a second? Okay. I was hoping to get a wasp. I guess I should have realized that we're not going to before the level up and just kind of deal with it. But that's okay. Maybe we look for a panther. The wasp is still doing good for us, don't get me wrong. Okay, so let's go here. I think we get rid of the hippocampus, probably. We could run a panther, maybe. Maybe a tiger behind the falcon, summon a bunch of stuff. You know what, let's try this. Okay, so we go here. Do this. Pretzel's not great, but I don't know, that's a pair. Pairs aren't bad. We need to get a lot of scaling on our falcon. Ideally, pairing it with, oh shoot, we're, <laughs> we're doing a little backwards here. Oopsie daisy. I don't know why nobody ever puts garlic on their falcons. Yeah, we need to move you two back now that we have a tiger in the mix. Okay. Let's go here, 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 roll me here. Pretty solid turn, I would have to say. And the monkey's gonna get you going some more. You basically just break whoever's in front. That's your primary goal. That's unfortunate. Sharks OP. But now we can get our own. Alright. So this is my, my big plan, okay? We get Falcon big enough level you hold on to the shark hold on to the tiger we get falcon big enough where he's actually gonna most likely trade into stuff that's fine and then the shark goes off beautiful Okay, we didn't lose that one. That's a very good sign. <laughs> Let's go here. I think Worm's gotta go. 
Oh, actually, though. Tell you what. Set it up like this. And then we can put the falcon here. Ditch the worm for the fly. I think that's the play. And hold on to you. Okay, do this guy. I'd love a hammerhead, we just simply do not have room for him. We'll keep the pair for the falcon. close. I think if we had the level 2 fly, I think we would have won that one. I'm not sure. But yeah, the breakpoints were a little rough. The flies, the little fly homies, did not get through that guy at all. <laughs> it was just shark buffs. Love me a good old chipmunk. Two chipmunks? Okay. That's something. <laughs> Be some amazing boogeyman. That works. You hate to see it. Had to have the beetle up front, apparently. I think we do this. Alright, I guess it didn't matter. The rationale there is that you, you're more likely to sell individual opossums than you would sell individual chipmunks, you know what I'm saying? But we're getting levels on either of them anyways. Let's get a level, get another level. What do we got? Any mole scenarios this week? Maybe. There are some pretty good held foods. Give everybody grapes and then throw a mole out there. Maybe we try it. Only one way to know, right? Do you have any... Or give them all cherries. And then the badger... No, the badger wouldn't work. <laughs> we need a honey badger, but honey badger don't work with the mole. We'll give them elephant. Just get some stats going. For each gold over 10, you gain 1-1. One, one. I mean, in theory... That could be good if we get the grapes, <laughs> but I think that's looking a little far in the future, right? Because that's at the start of turn, so you can't like sell stuff to get it. Okay, well we're at zero gold, so let's just, let's cook. Let's get it going a little bit. That snipe hurt us a little bit there, but looks like our elephant will handle it. Is it a lucky cat kind of kind of vibe? I don't know. I feel like we save the chipmunk until grapes come around. Maybe we try lucky cat here. We're finding a whole boatload of them anyway. <laughs> and again, dirty rat. Well, what is that supposed to do for us? I don't know. There's no hurt triggers for elephants. So that doesn't help. We don't want to create rats with the falcon and it feels like it's n not necessary perhaps we'll do this we'll get some cherries override them with grapes later I think that's gonna be our play they will get us this time Maybe we'll grab a whole thing here. The honey's just gonna get overwritten, but we might as well, right? I guess not overwritten, it's gonna get yoinked by the mole. Okay. And we draw? We'll take a draw. I'm amazed that we're still at four hearts, by the way. I feel like this team is kind of just 
falling a little bit. <laughs> We're just loitering now. Who do we want to sell the opossum for? An osprey might be the play. The other difficulty is getting the faint soloed out in the shop. That could be tricky. There's a lot of faint homies. I don't think we care about level 2 elephant. Level you. Old mouse. I didn't even see old mouse in the pack. Okay. Do we want old mouse? That's the question. Or do we just orangutan maybe? We're gonna freeze you two. We're gonna sell. Okay, so we can sell into you, get a 5-5, five, five, or get a 3-6 and some health. Do this. The reason I don't want to do the orangutan necessarily is because the stats may be going on the, the chipmunk who's just gonna get sold. And that doesn't seem like a very efficient use of money, you know? I have to imagine it's not. Hey, elephant, doing work for us again. Alright, we're on tier 4, we can get the, the grapes on the chipmunk and sell them. Just gotta find some grapes now. Um, Kraken? Probably not. Orangutan's not bad. You summon two groundhogs, which is actually pretty good. There are the grapes, love to see it. Alright, so next turn we're gonna grape... We're gonna put grapes on the chipmunk. We're not gonna grape the chipmunk. Oh boy. The rock with garlic. That's menacing. <laughs> that is one menacing homie you got there. Alright, we go here. Tell you. And then, who do we want to keep around? That's the question. Probably get rid of the elephant. And we're probably getting rid of the lucky cat too, all things considered. Falcon is interesting. I don't think so though. That's huge. Oh, they got rid of one of our grapes. Interesting. I think you gotta go. Well, let's do this first. Okay. Well, chocolate I think is huge. That's not huge though. <laughs> that is pretty unhuge. I mean, we could get a tiger. Maybe we just monkey though? Chicken is tempting too, but like... Not really the vibe right here, I don't think. There will be a time for the chicken, don't get me wrong. We need like a vulture, I think. I think vulture would do very well here. How many guys would be summoning right now? All the vulture triggers, just imagine it. Imagine how good that would be.
dude. If we could get more grapes right now, I feel like we'd actually be really good off. Really well off, I should say. What the hell am I saying? Really good off. Okay, so we need two held foods, ideally grapes. Let's ignore the Osprey for a second. Here he might be fine though. There's our vulture. Ooh, <laughs> how do we want to do this? Maybe we sell for the vulture here. And then we put something on the vulture next turn. I also want to try Fox. Fox is... seems really good. He seems like he would be very solid here. Okay, we're getting some snipes in. I think we're okay. Dude, Vulture. I'm very glad we switched to the Vulture. I don't think we win that if we don't. Okay, we go here. Lie is also huge. Okay. Here's how we do it. We get rid of... Get rid of the orangutan? For the fly? Because we could do that. He's giving so much health though. Eight health for everybody? Well, not everybody, I guess. And I'm, I, honestly, at this point, we just gotta get anything on these guys. Donut? Sure. <laughs> Doesn't do anything, but it gets the mole more triggers. And then the tiger vulture, I think, is our play. We're putting our hat on that one. Good, good. It's doing it. We're actually doing it. Okay. And then... Lettuce is only a 2-2. Two, two. We probably don't care about that too much. Um, pretzel again, not gonna work for us. I think we're looking for levels right now. That's our path forward at this point. Which we're not finding many. <laughs> I'll override you. Get some grapes going. Man, you know, sometimes you find like infinite chocolate at this point we're just not finding that now okay so now i see what the the actual build is this week you go snipes that's <laughs> that's just how it is you go woodpecker with the the what's his face wolverine pineapple and just nuke the entire team but i like what we got going here it's kind of fun Alright, give me a fish. I don't like any of these. I think Basilisk here is fine. We'll be some almighty seeds. Okay. Mosquito snipe is on point. Thank you, thank you. Speaking of mosquito snipe, let's grab another one. And we get a level up for next turn. Huge. Don't hit the pig. Oh, <laughs> dude. These dudes just killed a fish outright. These mosquitoes are insane. All right, what do we got here? Baboon is probably slightly better than Dodo, at least right now. The issue is who we're gonna grab. Maybe Ghost Kitten. Let's search. It couldn't possibly be a frigate bird angle. Snail angle, maybe? We really want to be buffing a snail? <laughs> I mean, maybe. Guess we do. We're buffing a friggin' snail. Okay. Does that mean that the snail is going to stay? In your snail. 
Ooh, that is a rough breakpoint there. Ooh, another rough breakpoint. Okay. Not ideal. There's the ghost kitten, but we're a little past that now, I think. We can grab a mole. Start ho hooking up some homies. Another snail. Harry is good. Okay, we're good. I think we're le leveling out. We got here, we're pulling back. Getting into it. Okay, so we could stick with the mole, but since we have a dodo, and we can get some dedicated dodo scaling on the baboon. I mean, the mole is pretty good though. So maybe we don't. Maybe we just do this. And then grab you. Fairy dust doesn't seem necessary. Um... Actually, pineapple on you makes you not useless. There's something. Garlic. Okay. A little unconventional, perhaps, but it seems okay. We're getting some moles going now. Oh, fantastic mosquito hit, by the way. I don't think it was necessary, but beautiful breakpoint. 10 out of 10, would recommend. Okay, so let's switch you. Let's just throw on a garlic. Just cuz. I'd rather get, like, cherry or something than just throw on a random whatever that's not gonna get used. Um, we could... Lettuce is just gonna hit you too. Probably not necessary. We gotta look for a good tier four if we're gonna keep the baboon around. Which is not a guarantee, by the way. We might just not. Oh baby, we're doing it. We are doing it, we're so on it. Level you. Oh baby, okay. I mean, how could this not be a vulture angle, you know? How could it not? Then probably go... Two nearest friendly perks. Okay, so we would get one hit off with the pineapple. What's the vulture level two do? Just extra damage to that enemy. So pineapple isn't as good as if it hit multiple times. In which case, I'm kind of thinking we could ditch the basilisk and start running somebody else. Maybe even an osprey for extra summons. Let me see. Really, we're looking for a fly in, in all likelihood. But until we get the fly, we don't really need the garlic on you. We could just get some more triggers here. And I think the snipes are going to be better than red dragon if we can get him to level two. Okay, so they kind of just cancel out there. He, but then the vulture takes it home. Look at that. Okay, let's get two more. Whatever it needs, we'll get two held foods here. That's fine. And then let's look for, I don't know, more moles. Maybe some more ospreys. Oh baby, we found the moles. I didn't think we would. And the Osprey. Alright, hold on. Hmm. Yeah, the snipes are gonna get us a little bit. Okay, we're good. We draw. That's fine. That's a big snipe team. We take the draw there. We go here, 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 call it a day. I don't think we're sticking Mosquito for very long. I think this is perfectly fine. We look for the other homie. That's fine. 
He's got his Kraken all backwards. You can't do that. You can't have the Kraken go last. Because then all of your snipes just do reduce damage. Okay, if we go here into a fly, we're golden. Not lucky. So here's what we could do. We could ditch Mosquito and throw in a Cockatrice. Now I'll be honest. I have no idea why we would do that. <laughs> I think we'd probably be better off with the whale eating the osprey. The issue with whale eating something is you get less mole triggers. Because their thing doesn't, their food, held food doesn't exist anymore. So mole and whale don't play nicely together. So I think we just roll here. Grapes are, that's just perfect. Could not ask for anything better. Um, we really don't need the cherry anymore. Let's do this. I think we get rid of Mosquito once we find the fly. Rude. Oh, not quite. That's the other hard part with Mole, is if your dudes get sniped, you're kind of cooked. A little bit. There he is. Okay, we go here, and now we're good, question mark? Give him a steak, I guess. Let's roll for some doubles. Hammerhead is tempting. In place of the snail, maybe? Just give him some random something or another. I think we're in a good spot as long as we don't get sniped, <laughs> which is not a very gu guaranteed occurrence, I might say. But like, even then, we're good, you know? We don't even need the other trigger. We're just summoning up a storm out here. So let's get rid of the snail. Seems like a good time to do it. As good a time as any, I suppose. And then, let's see, I guess we keep you here. I don't know, like switching these two around, does that do anything for us? Probably not. I'd reckon maybe not. Oh, no snipes this time. Kind of. Aw, dude, come on. <laughs> Bro up. No shot. All right, whatever. He insta-snipes our vulture. Okay. Sure. Alright. Um, we're just looking for levels. We're looking for health. Anything like that. Level you. Hold on to you. Yeah, so I mean, this is the extent of the team, right? This, I think we just keep it the way it is right now. Yeah, that's not gonna end well. Maybe? We are getting some good snipes out here. Not gonna be enough though. We're close. We are close. Level you. Level you. Okay. I mean, we'll see what happens, I guess. That's all we can do, really. I think it's important to get garlic on you. Do you get sniped less? Dude, it's... <laughs> They're everywhere. We might be okay, I'm not sure yet. Okay, we get a draw. That's fine. We got a pretty big power spike cooking up here. Um, and by power spike, I mean... We have additional, <laughs> additional gold. <laughs> oh, I mean, maybe not, maybe not technically a power spike, but it's something. I think Fly is more important than Osprey, so we go for him. Dude, how does this happen? <laughs> Every single time. 
Why are their vultures so much better at shooting than mine are? Crazy. Alright, get here. Err. Err. Dude, imagine if that was the fly. Oh, and we get him anyways. Okay. I mean, I'm just gonna kinda hope that we win here. This could also be a second fly angle, but no, nah, that, that might be too much. Hang on to the garlic. If we could ever get the mole to just like do its thing right away and not get overwritten, that would be pretty awesome. Dude, you gotta hit the right guy, come on. <laughs> We're okay. We're hanging in there. Give you garlic. Give you garlic. We're just preparing for the woodpeckers, honestly. That's all we can do right now. Two, two, does that do anything for us? Probably not. I'd rather look for some ospreys or something. Or just get more oranges at that. All right. On the last round, we'll take a lettuce. We actually get to use the whole thing. Don't hit you. Okay. <laughs> oh, dude, come on. We were so close. How could we have done it better? I do like the mole with the vulture. With the asterisk being, it's a little difficult to pull off in battle. Because you end up getting sniped and stuff a lot of times. I don't know. The Osprey seems pretty good with Vulture. And the Fly, of course. Maybe the Hammerhead could be replaced with somebody, but... I don't know. I'm not sure who that would be. Unless you put a Tiger behind the Vulture. Start me Basilisk Mosquito. With another Basilisk. Maybe we go double pied tamarin. Some myth doggies. Okay, great. I didn't think there was a chance we win that one, but apparently there do be a chance. <laughs> so that's great. Um, let's go here. Roll me. You know what? I think we look for levels next turn. Get another Pied Tamarin or something. That's fine. We're expecting that when we got when we pick Pied Tamarin, <laughs> you don't expect to win unless you got some cherries cooking. But this is actually perfect, so now we get the snail. Then we can go wasp. Oh baby, we're on to something now. Into another one. go baboon next turn baboon's very good with wasp assuming we don't have other tier threes fantastic oh <laughs> baby we're on to it all right i did not expect it to go this smoothly but here we are another snail do we go snail or do we just kind of cook up a ghost kitten? I feel like we're in a pretty good spot right now. I think we start you. Okay, we didn't find the cherry. Roll me one more. Let's just throw a ghost kitten in here. Maybe the ghost kitten will get a little baboon help. Maybe it'll absorb some, some snipage. We'll see. And we're looking great. <laughs> we are looking great. I like that pivot. I'm glad we didn't have to keep the snail around. Okay, so right now Baboon's buffing Wasp, which is what we want. If we go Lettuce, we get these two. We could also ditch you. Grab a little Dodo action. Lettuce on all three of them. 
Not too bad. Let's get a cherry on you. Hold you. I will most certainly hang on to some more lettuce. Okay, so now our Pied Tamron is online. Finally. <laughs> Took a while. Ooh, okay. A little short. Let's go here. Here, here. Roll me. Grab you, grab you. So next turn we're gonna get tier fives. Oh baby, that's actually really good. Okay, he doesn't. Oh, he does get a mole. Because of this, help me. Or good. <laughs> the little 1-1 one, one golden gets it there. Fantastic. Okay. Start me here. We go chicken or we could go monkey. I'm thinking it's a monkey angle, personally. Throw the wasp up front. We go here. We can keep the tamarind for a second. Granted, it's not super exciting. But I mean, six damage is six damage, right? So since we're keeping the wasp level one, we do have to help it out a little bit. Oh, we're so close. Almost there. The wasp is just getting started though. We're gonna be just fine. Shark is interesting, right? We can go Osprey Shark. That's probably better than the Tamarin, I wanna say. Well, if we give the Tamarin Pineapple, it's gonna deal 15 damage, which is pretty good. You know what, let's say no. Well, we'd have to get rid of two, right? We'd be getting rid of, what, Ghost Kitten Tamarin? That's a steep price to pay, but I'm down to give it a shot. You know, we might as well try. Whale is not bad. Okay. Falcon could be interesting. We don't really have a scaling mechanism for him though, so maybe not. <laughs> He's just getting 8-8 eight, eight out here. This guy's insane. And dead. But insane too. Okay, the wasp still definitely needs a monkey. But the whale also does. <laughs> or the shark also needs a, a whale is what I meant to say. Okay, here's the plan. Let's... Let's try to find another shark, maybe. That's good. So the dodo's not scaling. He's giving 10 attack to somebody. Is that good enough? Let me do this. This may seem a tad unconventional, perhaps, but... If he had garlic, we would have got it. We greeted too much. Okay. We did not find anything from this Yeti. That's terribly unfortunate. Let's go here. Let's go here. We're looking for whales. Trying to get the summon train cooked up. That's fine. 
Still not finding anything. Dude, this Yeti sucks. <laughs> this guy is terrible. <laughs> okay, we should be good here. Shark is kind of just busted, so that, that does well for us. Okay, I think you need to go here. You need to get some grapes. And we need to find sharks and whales. I think shark is priority. None of these... Okay, so here's the problem I'm having. <laughs> we don't have hardly any summon synergies. And like getting a level 2 Osprey quite literally does nothing for us. Vulture could be interesting. These are the times when it would be nice to have garlic. Let's say we don't go vulture. Gotta find that whale. We can get whale cooking. There we go, we got one. I think we're good. Just barely, but we're good. We go here. Um, here, get rid of you. Okay, so at this point, the shark is basically going to be 50. The issue <laughs> that we're going to be having is one, getting sniped. If they have the snipe team, we lose, because then the whale can't eat anything. Okay. Hold on, this may be alright. Okay, so shark does in fact get to 50. That's good. State gets him there. So shark needs some garlic. I'm gonna get you cooking. Honestly, I think we do this. Get the fly cooked up a bit. Not because it's necessary per se, but it's a nice backup in case everybody gets murdered. <laughs> you know, it's just a nice to have. Little precaution, if you will. Like this. Dude, no shot. Oh, the dog! Oh my lord, dude. The golden retriever gets us there. That was insanity. Okay. This is getting intense. You need a steak. Just in case. We should give you more stats, I think. At least more health. Make you more sturdy, if you will, against these guys. Steak. Yeah, see... <laughs> I don't feel too bad about that one. It's gonna happen, right? You're gonna run against those teams that are just, you know... It is what it is, but the issue is th these teams don't feel very strong as far as like scaling and stuff. You get the one big unit, it's very susceptible to snipes, which is weird because normally summons wouldn't be, but they are. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if summons are the play. We'll just put it that way.